this year about survival. 2013-2014 fourth grade has been learning about survival this year. We have learned about Lewis and Clark's adventure to the Pacific, the Oregon Trail, the long dangerous journey to Oregon, and we have read literature books about survival. Now we are going to explain why we need an S. This stands for Emergency Survival Kit. These are just some of the reasons we need to prepare. Hi, I'm Flood. I'm a very dangerous natural disaster. I am caused by heavy rainfall and rivers overflowing. I am also caused by heavy snowfall mounting just way too fast. The fourth grade crew will teach you how to make survival kits and protect you from natural disasters like me. I am landslide and I am very dangerous. I could cause a disaster in Oregon because of the wet grounds and from an earthquake. I can destroy homes and people. I am wildfire. I am very dangerous and I can be created. Only three things are needed to create me. Oxygen, a spark, and fuel. There are many other ways to create a wildfire also me. Like a, a camper leaves his campfire on overnight or a cigar gets dropped in dry grass. Luckily, the ESK's emergency survival kit is here to save you from me. Thank you. I am an earthquake. I am created by plates in the earth that shift around and shake the ground above. I can destroy schools, create floods, landslides, and fire if a gas line breaks. I can happen in Oregon because Oregon is on a fault line. Listen to the fourth grade crew suggestions so you won't get buried by me. These are the basics of survival. Please remember what's first. Protection and rescue will be the responsibility of the parents. Water and food will be in your emergency kit. You're stuck at school for 24 hours. What would you need? Well, this is what the fourth grade crew thinks they need to survive. You need food to survive. You might get hungry. You need water. Last but not least, shelter. It's really cold out there. What plans and supplies are set in place at City View Charter School? You can use a shovel so you can dig yourself out of rubble. You can also use it to dig a hole so you can save yourself from fire. Plastic is a useful source for shelter. Now let's see what we can find in the office in case of an emergency. In the office we have the first aid kit. We use these for any emergencies. During a fire drill, we come out, line up, and face the fence away from the fire. This is important, facing the fence so our eyes are protected from smoke and ash. For earthquake drills, we go under the table and cover on the, back of our, the backs of our necks like this. For lockdown drills, we close the shades and do our work away from windows and doors. ESKs. It's important to have a checklist. Check with Steady View to get the most updated list. First, you need a gallon size Ziploc bag. You also need two big bottles of water. You should have two granola bars. Granola bars are good because they're non perishable and they don't spoil. You should have a rain poncho for wet conditions. This is Gavin and he is wearing his space blanket. When he raises his hand like this, that means he is warm. 
Wow, this doesn't take long to warm up. You'd have one of those in your emergency survival kit too. Next, you need a flashlight. Remember to take out the batteries. Keep those extra batteries in the bag. You should probably have a comfort item, like a stuffed animal or a family photo. Each student should have his or her information written down on an index card. Do you have a seven? Go fish. You should bring some entertainment for yourself. Like go fish. We will show you step by step how to make an emergency survival kit. Water. Flashlight. Granola bars, batteries. Blanket, entertainment. Poncho. Comfort items. Information. So what is it we need to accomplish here? We learned that the pioneers, Lewis and Clark, the characters in our survival stories, and even we use these basics today. Through this informational video, we hope that you will be better prepared to survive a natural disaster at school. That's how you make an S in the emergency survival kit. Remember, the ESC tub will be stored in your classroom. All you. This is our goal!